want to thank all of the affiliates of the Bob Tuscan Show, the Orion Talk Radio Network, of course, Oracle Broadcasting, and all the great AM and FM affiliates of the program. And I uh, also want to thank all the people participating in the chat room, people that uh, want to call up, you can do so. Scott's taking questions tonight at 866 866- 841-1065, that's toll free 866-841-1065, and we have the question still on the table, what would you do if you were elected president of the corporation, capital letter, United States? Anyways, we'll, we'll take that question, but uh, first let me ask you this uh, question from one of our listeners, Scott. Uh, he wants to know if you know anything about the East India Company and the uh, forerunner of, of this uh, corporation nation, if you will. Well, uh, I'm not too familiar with that incorporated uh, entity. I was, I, I, my mind's over on this stupid New York thing right now. Sorry, but uh, it's got me a little preoccupied. Forty-seven percent of the voters wanted to vote in a fracking project over in what New York. What the frack is up with that? I mean, my golly, and and they're being pushed into this garbage because of the economy. Forty-two percent said uh, no. Forty-seven percent said yes, and they said because it would stimulate jobs and, and stimulate the economy. You believe this garbage, and that thing's all orchestrated and and uh, manipulated. I mean, this is this is really in New York. You can't afford a fracking project. You're, you're already unstable. I mean, you've had a 3.9 earthquake. I've seen a, 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 one of those um, stupid, uh, what are they called? Uh, uh, they're like a plume or a, 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 shoot, I can't remember the name of it. But well, what, uh, what does fracking do to our planet? And for those listeners who don't know what, what the frack fracking is. Uh, tell them a little bit about it. Yeah, the fracking is when they go after uh, gas uh, that's trapped in the rock, and they shoot 600 chemicals, and these are toxic chemicals. And, it, it, I mean, you, you got people that live around these places where they turn their faucet on, and, and you can light their water. Uh, the, the water turns to fire. These chemicals are highly toxic and terrible on the environment. And then when you pressurize this stuff uh, uh, underneath the in the, the surface of this earth, you go down like a half mile or a mile, and your piping systems are already all screwed up from the ocean floor sinking. Uh, and I've proved that. And, and this is all facts, folks. I talk about facts, facts, and more facts. You know, the ocean floor is sinking. It's messing up the piping systems. It's creating creating earthquakes 70 miles down and up because that's going to be your piping systems. I mean, you had an 8.5 earthquake hit Yellowstone uh, some time ago, and, and USGS told you point blank it came from the piping system, and, and people just aren't aware of the piping system. When you get to deep earthquakes, it's more like the ligaments of the earth, you know, tearing. But when you get the higher up ones, it's it's like the continental blowing effect video I, I talk about. It's piping systems, and and they start doing these fracking projects. It's like Guy Arkansas. Uh, they had to shut down their fracking project because they had over 2,500 earthquakes. These things shut trigger. down the fracking project. Yeah, and, I mean they're talking about polluting their their water system over there. What for a handful of barley, for a couple coins? Give me a break. It's so sad. It's ridiculous. And you guys got all kinds of alternative technologies that we can't use because the way these incorporations roll is is they they burn out whatever's there first before they go to the next thing because oh if we if we go to this new technology then then what do we do with all this oil and stuff our stuff will become worthless then you know we can't have that so they'll, they'll exhaust that resource same way with nuclear you know they they goes oh we we got to keep selling our product you know we we can't go to this new alternative energy because then we can't sell it and all this nuclear mineral rights becomes worthless overnight you know so you know these rich fat blah, I don't even want to call them you know uh, polluters uh, toxic people uh, that's what I'll call them I'm going to call them green toxic people uh, and these green toxic people they they're they're not going to stop selling their product and go to an alternative energy until they exhaust it and 
and it doesn't matter if the earth dies in the process. That's and that's just the way it is. It's really so. a shame that we're killing this planet, Scott. Yeah, it is. You know, I was noticing this volcano that was erupting off the coast of Oregon. You know, it, I, I don't think I talked about that last week, but, uh, you know, they have a submarine volcano going off. Did you say uh, off the coast of Oregon? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. What's going on there? I mean, we've got a lot of listeners in Oregon. The Intel Hub's based out of Oregon. What? What's well, you're you're in trouble, and I, I I have that place pegged for a 7.0 or greater earthquake this year. You know, it's it's the you got a a whole bunch of volcanoes out there. Well, let me ask you, where do you not have pegged for a uh, 7.0 earthquake, Scott? Well, the if for the areas of the United States, I have Wichita, Kansas. Uh, off the coast of Oregon and off the east coast in the mid-Atlantic range up more towards uh, uh, the U.K. and and then down. But, I mean, we're on Earth's time clock. You know, all I can do is give projections. And what I'm seeing is more of a winter event in in the Midwest where I'm seeing more of a, a late winter event over here on the West Coast or in the next couple of months, say maybe September-ish. Uh, and then the East Coast, with it just depends how much weight has left Greenland this year and if that ocean stalls again. And if it does, ugh, it's not good. It's not good at all. But, uh, you know, uh, outside of that, you know, you, you, the government put out their report, you know, that when, whenever the, the government takes $300 billion of insurance, tsunami insurance out, okay, then they're expecting something, okay? It, that's just common sense. And that's what the, the, that, that was in your budget this year. 300 million, 300 billion in tsunami insurance. So, you know, they, they know there's a problem. They know. I, I, all of these are factual reports that have come out of Washington, came out of NASA. I got them in my videos. It's, this is all facts. It, even though people don't want to, to look at the facts. I mean, I'm a realist. It, this is reality. It's, it's, this is your Earth now. You got space quakes, which is from the magnetic field. You're in orbital wobble. Uh, the, you got a hole in your ozone that just increased 40%. You got a nuclear power plant and total meltdown. And it's probably going to stay that way for a long time. It, tell tell I, the listeners about space quake, uh, because I think that's for uh, people who are new to the show, something uh, novel and interesting and different. Yeah, yeah, you know, and and the Earth's going to throw up all kinds of interesting, novel, and different things. <laughs> but when you're when the magnetic field is disrupted, what happens is is the the magnetic field will overlap and slap in space, and it generates a space quake, and it directs it back down to Earth, and and they could be as high as a five and six magnitude, and that is right out of NASA, folks, uh, and those things are happening they they started happening in the late 70s during carter's administration they called it the bell hall and booms and that's when the navy took over the orbital spin of the earth you know they they delegated that because they you know at first they thought it was terrorist or something you know something was going on but yeah the earth's in trouble that's what's going on you know, it, it, and they're making tons of money on it, and they're running cons like crazy. It's almost like the Great Reset button. You know, you 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 have the you you know what's coming, and and you can hit the reset button. All right, don't hit the reset button quite yet, folks. We'll be back in just a moment. Information shock resistance with Scott from the Believers on the Ground. Absolutely. God, is there any good news? Yes, I, I got some great news, man. Somebody sent me some packets of seeds. I got seeds. Really? Yes, I did. I got, uh, let's see, red cabbage, and I got 
tomato, beef steak tomatoes. Wow. And they and they sent me some stamps, too. So I thought that was real cool. And a picture, uh, I guess, of her grandkids. You know, because this is what we're fighting for, folks. We're fighting to save life. Yeah, we want to have friends and family that we can cherish and enjoy our time with. I would thought you were going to say you got your seeds from our seed giveaway. Oh, I don't know. I don't know if they're involved with that, but uh, uh, this was just beautiful. It was it was great. You know, what a nice thing to do to give away seeds, and I, I seed save. So in the garden, you know, when the plants uh, they you know go to seed. It's great because I have an abundance of seeds to share. Yeah, I mean, and and just think about, you know, that president question again. I would have everybody start a farm or, or start a start a garden. Point blank. Uh, I mean, I would uh uh I would deregulate or or make hemp legal. Absolutely uh, legal. Uh, in a heartbeat and sure. turn it into an industry. All drugs yeah. legal as well. Not that hemp is the same uh, sort of subject matter, but all drugs should be legalized. I don't see a reason why we should have prohibition. We know it doesn't work. Yeah, I, I'm not too much on the, the drug scene, but uh, as far as... You don't as think drugs should be legalized? Well, it, it's not not my question one way or the other. I don't care. It, I'm indifferent to it. But uh, so you think we should hemp, have two million plus people in prison, Scott? No, but hemp is well. Yeah, this the United States is a police state. That's yeah. ridiculous. And anything that's grown by the war on drugs and and people who have addictions need to get help. But why should we make it uh, more of a danger? Yeah, and and as long as they keep crowding in the public sectors, everyone's going to be miserable and ripped off anyway. So, you know, their life sucks so bad, they get loaded. You know, I understand. But, you know, we can pull ourselves out of that stuff, man. There's The U.S. is huge. And, I mean, and hemp, it, it doesn't get you loaded. And they're building houses with that stuff down there in the Australia right now. I mean, this is a, a natural resource that grows super quick. It will it will take the acidity you see out of our soils which we need because the farmers are just caking their fields with potassium now because the ph balance is screwed up in the ocean so it's screwed up in the water hitting our planet too so, and then you have all this nuclear fallout that needs to be pulled out of the soils and you can use this stuff as a biofuel as well so it would basically wipe out the oil and nuclear industries overnight out and you wouldn't have to buy uh, five closets worth of clothes because this stuff is ten times more durable than denim jeans. And so, you know, and the carpets they're making out of plastic, you know, the, the polyurethanes and polypropylenes and all these different stupid chemicals and stuff. Man, you can just make it out with that stuff, you know, and, and be totally green. Wipe out two of the most wicked and evil toxic pollution things, which is nuclear power, clean energy, my butt, as they got three-quarters of the plants reporting tritium leaks here in the United States, and that stuff causes sterility. It causes baby deaths. It causes all kinds of stuff. It's part of the Agenda 21 garbage. It's sadder than heck. You know, but they don't want to see nine million people, you know. But I mean, we could, we could take over, create a whole brand new industry, start getting rid of, away from this toxic stuff. We could shut down all the nuclear power plants overnight. And that's what we need to do. Because in, in this climate we got right now, if we have another earthquake like they had up there in, uh, what was it, North Dakota the other day. It was either North or South Dakota, I can't remember. But you get another one right on a laking system. It could take out a couple dams up there, and it'll start a chain reaction. It will knock out Cooper and that other nuclear power plant like a, like nothing. It'll be like a tsunami hitting Japan or hitting Fukushima. I mean, you got those kind of conditions right now. Just staring you in the face, and and people have stopped talking about those two nuclear power plants. They're not out of danger, <laughs> and that water level's still high, and, and they still have. And what about all these families that got evacuated out of that area, you know, and and kicked to the curb? I mean, it's sad, but I mean, we can we can create a whole brand new industry, which means jobs, and you don't have to frack your 